What's up Dragon Ball fans and collectors, the DBZ Collector here and we're back again with another display showcase video and for this video we'll be diving into my Boo Saga display. So if it's your first time watching my videos you'll notice that the majority of the figures in all my displays are from the SH Figure Arts line by Tamashii Nations with a few additions of some other lines which I'll point out as we go along. Introducing us to this display is none other than the Hero of Justice himself, Great Saiyan aka Gohan, sporting the helmet from his first appearance. Like most of my figures that have capes, I did swap the cape that came with this figure for a wired cloth cape that I purchased on eBay. I'll provide the seller's username at the end of the video and in the description below if any of you are interested in purchasing one for yourself. One of the highlights of the saga, of course, being the Majin Vegeta vs. Goku battle. Here we have the Majin Vegeta figure with a custom headpiece made by AJ Customs. Posed here with this Goku, which is also a combination of the Super Saiyan 3 SH Figure Arts Goku body with another AJ Customs piece, uh, which is his 2.0 version of the Super Saiyan 2 hair. Now this hair is actually going to be going for sale soon exclusively in the Facebook group Figure Arts Collectors. So again, I'll leave details at the end of the video and in the description below. Now we have the antagonist of the saga, the one who started all, the evil wizard Bobbity. Now this figure here is from the old Earwind Toys line. I couldn't help but throw in another great salmon figure, again with a wired cape upgrade but this time I have him displayed with his alternate bandana head, which is what he wore in the World Tournament. Now probably one of the most favorite Super Saiyan transformations of Goku is the Super Saiyan 3 Goku that you see here. This figure is pretty well sought out and he's raised in price since he was first released. So if you do happen to find him for around 150 or less, definitely, definitely grab him. One of the first iterations of Boo that we see in the saga, more distinguishedly known as Fat Boo. This figure here has not only been upgraded with a wired cloth cape, but also a custom angry expression head with steam valves and steam accessories. It's a third party accessory. The official name of the piece is called an angry fat boy. Um, I don't know where you can purchase this anymore. The seller that I bought it from doesn't currently have it. You can try certain websites like AliExpress, but I know 5K Toys and Omnime don't currently have this in stock. If you've happened to watch my previous videos, then you'll know that Gohan is my favorite character of the series. So again, we have the Great Saiyan figure, this time with his Super Saiyan head, which is arguably one of the best looking heads for Gohan. Unfortunately, this head did not come with the ability to swap out faceplates, so that was a bit of a bummer. But for the last Gohan figure in the display, um, we have the Mightiest Warrior by Demoniacal Fit, which is their rendition of Gohan in his ultimate or mystic form. Personally, I think their version of this Gohan is the best there is out there, um, compared to the SH Figure Arts versions, which are 1.0 versions of the Ultimate Gohan, both in the original release and in the event exclusive. The Boo figure seen posed with Gohan here is referred to as Evil Boo, but more commonly known as Super Boo. This version of Boo is probably one of my favorite figures in the line. Uh, as you can see, he's got these crazy expressions, so he's just so much fun to take pictures of and pose with. Now before this year's event exclusives were announced, I had commissioned this blue torso Goku body made by customizer Xavier Bueno. I did pair it with AJ Custom Super Saiyan head. Um, which the custom itself came out pretty close to the official release. So needless to say, both guys did a really great job. This here is another Majin Vegeta figure, but I did decide to swap the head for the updated Super Saiyan head that came with the recent released Demoniacal Fit Goku and Vegeta headsets, which I purchased from Omnime Store. Next to their fathers, we have Goten and Trunks in their fusion form, a Super Saiyan form with his ghosts. And thanks to my friend Daniel, the Gotenks on the bottom here did get a repaint. 
The heads and faces were repainted to match his base form as well as his body was shaded to blend better with the discoloration that the original figure came with. I also did a slight mod on the fingers here as you can see just to give Gotenks a little bit more attitude. Now for this one I wanted to leave for last and that's this version of Boo in his original form, Kid Boo. This figure comes from an older line known as Hybrid Action. Now with its articulation detail and paint shading at the time, a lot of people view this line as the precursor to figure arts. And my personal opinion, I do prefer this figure of Kid Boot to say that of Dragon Stars or even Figure Rice Standard. Just as Kid Boo brought us to the close of the Boo Saga, that will also bring us to the end of this video. Just a reminder that the AJ Customs Super Saiyan 2 Goku head sculpts will be going for sale exclusively in the Facebook group Figure Arts Collectors. So if you liked any of the effects, custom pieces, and or third party figures and accessories shown in this display, and you're interested in getting them for yourself, you can follow the creators to see more of their work. I will leave their account information at the end of this video and in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. But until the next one, I'll see you guys next time.